And John Fung had a student. She was a nun. She had ordained because her health was bad. And even though it got a little bit better after she ordained, it still had problems. And he told her every morning, do your physical checkup. In other words, sit down and go through the whole body very carefully. See how the breath energy is in the different parts of the body. There may be a lot of things you can't affect, but there are some things that you can. And at the very least, you know where the problem areas are. If any new problems have developed in, in the past day, or if they've gone away. So make a survey. You can start at the back of the neck the way John Lee does. You can start at the navel. Any place where you feel that it's good to start, because by now you should know your body to some extent. Which parts are connected to which parts? In other words, which t patterns of tension in the body are connected to others? And which ones are the triggers? And you find that some of the spots in the body are like intersections. If it's a traffic jam in the intersection, then it spreads throughout the whole city. But if the traffic flows smoothly at that spot, then things can come and go easily, and the circulation is good. So find your intersections. For a lot of people, the big intersections run the sternum, right at the breastbone. If you can keep that area open, it opens up a lot of other areas as well. But if you find that your intersection is someplace else, that's fine. The important thing is that you get to know your body as it's actually happening. You take the basic principles that John Lee set out, and then you adjust them to fit your problems, whatever they are in the body, whether they're in the hips or in the, the legs, the knees, the back, the head. Try to figure out which pains are caused by blockages right at the pain and which pains are caused by blockages someplace else. But then the pains show up further down the line. There are lots of things you can explore here. So it's good to make a checkup every day to see what shape the body's in. And we can clear it out as best you can, and then the mind has a better place to settle down. You don't have to make a survey every time you sit to meditate, but at least once a day. Keep on top of things. That way the body and the mind will be more and more in alignment. And when they're in alignment together like this, then the body helps the mind, the mind helps the body. It's like the owner of a house. If the owner of the house doesn't stay there, after a while animals start moving in. Pipes burst, mold sets in, insects come in and build nests. And then when the owner wants to move back in the house, it's not a good place to stay. So the owner goes away again. Things just get worse. You want to move in and clean things out, and then stay here. That way the owner has a house to stay in, and the house has somebody looking after it. Both sides benefit. <laughs>